This is a voltage divider, which is comprised of two resistors in series with a voltage across both of them. And the way to calculate the voltage across R1 is V, which is the voltage, times R1's value of resistance over the sum of R1 plus R2. And the way to calculate the voltage across R2 is V times R2 over the sum R1 plus R2. And let's give those some values. So R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm, or 1,000 ohms. And R2 is equal to 470 ohms. And V, or the voltage, is equal to 5 volts. And let's do those calculations. So 5 times R1, which was 1,000 ohms, divided by 1,000 plus 470 so the voltage across R1 is equal to 3.4 volts and now let's do the calculation for the voltage across R2. So 5 times 470 divided by the sum 1000 plus 470 to the voltage across R2 is 1.6 volts. Okay, so here's the actual circuit. This is R1 and this is R2. And the voltage across both of those resistors is roughly 5 volts. So, the voltage across R1 is a little more than 3.4. And the voltage across R2 is roughly 1. 0.6 volts. So there you go. It works. Applications for a voltage divider would be biasing the gate of a transistor or an input of an IC. Anything that has a high impedance. You can't use it to say power an iPhone or something like that because the resistance of the iPhone or comparable device will be probably less than R2, and that causes some issues with the voltage drop across R2. It will actually reduce the voltage drop. Therefore, you will not really have the intended voltage.